upmarket Dorchester Hotel with whom last weekend to the best style that Indian designers can throw at wedding wear. The exhibition attracted the topmost Indian designers and buyers from all over Europe. The decor for the exhibition was appropriately tasteful and shoppers were spoiled for choice. The exhibition featured sarees and lehengas and even a combination of the two. The stamp of Bollywood was obvious, but the wedding wear clearly had the modern bride in mind. You know, the language of the new design is something that's based on a contemporary lifestyle. Because traditional stuff, you know, Maharajo ki dino mein they used to sit in palaces and women never used to step out in one parda, they could wear 100 kilos. The contemporary Indian bride, whether in India or certainly here in the UK, is somebody who walks, wears fitted dresses, it's okay to show her legs, and when the pandit moves off, they want to dance. Every night there's a DJ. And so fashion cannot be 200 kilos of 500 panels. It has to be slim, body fitted. It has to have Eastern grace, but it has to be very contemporary for fit. To me, there's no design without it. The dresses range from a few hundred pounds to thousands of pounds. The thing is, I mean, I have a lot of you know, international uh, uh, buyers and people who come from various cities, whether it's London or South Africa or Singapore, America, wherever. However, but I'm based in India, I design Indian clothes, so um, they are kind of growing to like the Indian work. But again, we, we have a store in Dubai, for example, the Middle East is taken up to it. But, but for them, it's niche. For them, it's uh, something that they love. It's like an, almost like an art and craft that they like. But I would say that for us, it is uh, growing definitely all over the world. But India, for me, it's always been India because I feel in India, there is so much uh, demand. There is so much of uh, want. And I think that's what I'm enjoying. It wasn't just the look. The value for money lay in the name behind that look and in stepping into India's most celebrated designer brands. I think what's happening right now, uh, global local is becoming the more global language because more and more shoppers worldwide are looking for a touch of exotic and a, uh, and a sense of whimsy and travel in their clothing, which is one of the reasons why Indian showcases are coming uh, and uh, are being displaced all over the world. It's beautiful because now you don't have to go to India to buy anything you want. You can buy it from here. That's the best fit. There are lots of other designers here that I, to be honest, haven't heard of, but they've done really well, really nice things. First impressions, we really like the setting. It's really nice, but I think there should be less people because you don't get a chance to view the items. But it's really nice, yeah, we're impressed. Yeah, same here. I like the collection here. That's it. And I cannot see some of the designers here. I could see in the book like so. The exhibition was a clear success and there are plans for more. I want to do an annual thing, hopefully two times a year, if not if not more. Yes. With Sanjay Suri in London, Zeva Varsi for News 18 India.